Oh no, it's seven degrees. Oh, that's, that's not comfortable. That's not comfortable in the least. The only good news is there's a little bit of blue sky up there, which calls for me to wear my sunglasses. Mm, don't mind if I do. Yeah, it's really cold. And that lot's full over there, and I had to wait for this spot for a minute, and it's perfect. I got a nice A6 over here, this Audi, and then I got a C3 E90. It's a facelift over there. So I think I did pretty well. I backed in, but when I come back to this car, it's going to be very, very, very cold instead of a nice, comfortable 80 degrees Celsius in the coolant. So I think I better go. Let's see if we can make him look first. No, he's got a hood on. He's not here. All right, I have three classes today, starting in nine, uh, nine minutes. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll be back at 3.30. We'll try to keep the fort down. We'll talk then. Oh man. Okay, it's 3.30, I'm out of class. 3.20, we got out a couple of minutes early. I don't know what the temperature is, 16. Oh, it feels a hell of a lot colder than that. This thing's been sitting here all day. We'll see how it does. Oh yeah. Okay, I don't know why my steering wheel moved down. I want it up there, but they're not frozen, so that's good. I'm gonna head home. I'll talk to you guys a little bit. Well, from my mirror going the other way, I thought it was an M3. It's a 330. I've seen that thing before, E46, 330. Pretty nice nonetheless. So I just uh, filled up with gas. I haven't gotten gas since I was in uh, Toledo. Wait, was it even in Ohio? No, I think it was Michigan. I had Michigan gas in here. Oh, man. These people aren't going. Because this light up here, anybody who's ever been to Hudson knows that light is the worst light in town and they sit back here and uh, I think they wait for it to turn green back there and then when it turns green they go up to it at 5 miles an hour and it turns red by the time you're here. So we're behind an F30. I predict I don't make this light change because everybody will crawl and somebody will let the girl in the Civic in. Yeah. Right? There goes the Civic now. So that's three, she's the fourth, fifth, I'm the sixth car in line. I'm not gonna make it. And this Hyundai screwed. All right, let's watch. It is green. One, two, three. We're moving a little better than usual today. Four, five, and I made it, six. But is the Hyundai, oh, it's yellow. Did the Hyundai go? Yeah, the Hyundai took a red. Risky. All right, I am gonna shift gears. Well, guess what time of the time of the year it is? Can you guess? It's oil change time. It's freezing, but I want to get it done. I'm almost 100 miles ahead of schedule. Not that I'm that picky about it, but I I want to do it. So inside it is 31 degrees, just over 30. Outside we're just below 10 degrees, so it's nice and toasty. I've got my shop light on. Not even necessarily for light, although it does help under the car, but for heat, I've noticed that thing makes a lot of heat, means it uses a lot of electricity, so I'll try to work quickly. But if my hands get cold, the good news is that's really warm. So I just put the car up here. I haven't even taken the oil cap off yet, but I did get my drain thing, so I gotta get a 13 millimeter, I think's the drain bolt, a Phillips head for the little trap door, a towel to lay on, I should be down in an hour or less. Okay, there is my fill bolt. Cleaned it up a little bit, my 13 mil. I pulled off my uh, old copper washer. We, we will be replacing that with a new one found in the uh, oil filter kit. Looks like we're uh, just dribbling now. I have not taken the filter off yet, so I'm gonna pull the filter. Um, it's not glugging, because I took off the uh, reservoir cap and the dipstick, so I'm gonna peel that filter out. Um, Get a new one loaded up in the cap. 
and uh, this is going pretty well so far. We're only in about eight minutes. Alrighty, I cleaned up the bolt inside, got all the oil off that I could. I've got my new uh, copper washer right here. Pop. My new filter is here. As you can see, looking a little bit better than the old one. So I'm gonna snap that on the uh, filter cap, like that, and uh, lubricate the uh, new uh, gasket, I suppose that is. Look at the old one, though. Noticing the old one has a, a tear in it, almost like it got in the threads of the filter housing. That kind of looks like what it is, so maybe I put that on wrong last time. But I'll be more careful, lube that up. I think we're still dripping tiny bit. Tiny bit still dripping. I'll let it sit for a little bit. Um, and then we just gotta dump like 6.9 quarts in or something like that. We're good to go. As I wait for that to bleed out, I uh, completely detailed my uh, oil little trap door. Look at that. Thing looks brand new. There's the part number. Screws in good shape. Nice and clean, even the hinges. Yeah, it's gonna be dirty in an hour, but I figured while I'm doing it, that'll keep my hands cleaner when I'm putting it back together. And it looks like it's finally stopped dripping. Good. All right, reassembly. Okay, we're down to negative three outside. It's almost 1 a.m. I think it's still snowing too. So I got a lot of classwork done today, actually. Stuff that's due Friday, Saturday, even up to next Monday. I think I have all that taken care of which is nice, got the oil changed in the car, cleaned all that up. Um, it is, I filled it to just halfway on the dipstick where it's supposed to be, um, cold. Then I drove it and it's between halfway and the, the very full line, so that's perfect. I'll keep it there, I'll check it every couple weeks, um, I suppose. But um, I'm getting tired of this cold weather already and we've got two more weeks of it. So tomorrow's Thursday, the last day of the week. I've got some parts coming in the mail. Um, more parts Friday slash Saturday. The other order from Turner that I made on my birthday all the way back in uh, ooh, December 18th shipped today. So it took them like five weeks to get that order from BMW. I guess it was some special rare part or something. But uh, that's scheduled for a delivery on Friday the 24th. So stay tuned. There's E39 source videos pending. Another one I think went live today. Maybe it was yesterday. Charlie's 520 intro. Um, there's also a post on E39 source about that, so check that out. I'm gonna run upstairs, take a shower, crawl into bed, do more YouTube, keep, keep working on that, and uh, we'll wrap up the week tomorrow. So I will speak with you then. Good night.